June 18, 2025. Around the world, millions were watching NASA's live feed as 3i slash ATLAS, only the third interstellar object ever discovered, raced through our solar system. A cosmic event so rare, scientists called it a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Suddenly, at exactly 0, 317 UTC, the broadcast went dark without warning. Seconds before the blackout, the final transmitted frame seemed to capture something utterly impossible, an anomaly that defied all natural explanation and left experts reeling. Why did the feed cut off at that moment? And what secret could be so extraordinary that it vanished with the world still watching? This is where the mystery begins. No warning, no standby message, just black. At 0317 UTC, the feed froze mid-sentence. One moment, the world was watching a ghost from another star glide past Mars. The next, nothing. In living rooms, classrooms, and midnight observatories, screens flickered, then went blank. The global chat exploded. Tens of thousands of messages. What happened? Did anyone else lose signal? Replay stacked up in a matter of seconds. Some viewers hit refresh, hoping for a glitch. Others stared at the last frozen frame, hunting for meaning in the pixelated silence. On social media, hashtags erupted. Hashtag ATLAS blackout. Hashtag impossible frame. Hashtag NASA cut. Within minutes, clips of the abrupt cutoff were mirrored, dissected, slowed down to single frames. People demanded answers. Was it a solar flare? A technical failure? Or had the universe just shown us something we weren't meant to see? The sense of collective shock was immediate and electric. For a moment, the world was united by absence, by a curtain dropping at the very instant something unexplainable hovered at the edge of human knowledge. The silence after the blackout wasn't empty. It was charged, like the air before a storm, waiting for someone, anyone, to explain what had just happened. You have to understand, what blinked out of view wasn't just another icy wanderer. 3. I slash Atlas is something astronomers wait lifetimes to see, a true interstellar visitor. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas telescope in Chile caught it streaking in from the direction of Sagittarius, its path unmistakably hyperbolic. That means it isn't bound to the sun. It isn't looping back. This object was born light years away, ejected from another star system, and just happened to cross our cosmic front porch. Only two such travelers had ever been confirmed before. Aumuamua in 2017, then Borisov in 2019. Both caused a storm of excitement. But Atlas is bigger, brighter, and for a brief window, far easier to study. Here's what makes it extraordinary. Most comets are leftovers from our own solar system, time capsules from its birth. But 3i slash Atlas carries the chemistry and history of a place we'll never visit. Its light, when split by spectrographs, revealed a cocktail of ices and gases, carbon dioxide, water, maybe even exotic compounds. Unlike anything seen in typical solar system comets, the ratios don't match. The models don't fit. For planetary scientists, this is like finding a message in a bottle from another world sealed in ice for millions of years. That's why the world tuned in. NASA's live feed wasn't just a show. It was a once in a generation chance to watch a piece of another solar system pass through ours. Every frame, every spectrum, every glint mattered. Because for all we know, we might never get another visitor quite like this. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory responded quickly. Within hours of the blackout, their public affairs team released a statement. The feed interruption was a technical glitch, nothing more. According to the official account, the Deep Space Relay Network had been scheduled for a routine handoff. This is standard practice. Every few hours, the data stream switches from one satellite to another as the Earth rotates. Sometimes the handover isn't seamless. A dropped packet here, a momentary loss of lock there, and the signal blinks out. That's what the logs showed at 0317 UTC. 
the relay transfer was already on the schedule, and the incident was entered into the official record as a minor outage. Engineers pointed to the chain of custody for the video data. Mirrored archives from Australia, Germany, and the US all showed identical SHA 256 hash values for the final broadcast segment. That means every copy, no matter where it was saved, matched the original bit for bit. No evidence of tampering, no frames missing or added. The last available frame, the one that set social media ablaze, was the same everywhere. Inside JPL, the authority to cut or resume a public feed lies with the flight director or data systems lead. Their job is to protect mission integrity first, public broadcast second. If the feed is corrupted, if telemetry looks off, or if there's a risk of system overload, they can pull the plug. According to internal sources, the call was made by the book. No hidden agenda, no cover-up. Just a routine response to a routine glitch, at least on paper. The official story leaves little room for mystery. The data is clean, the logs are clear, and the relay handoff lines up with the blackout. For NASA, the case is closed, but that hasn't stopped the questions from piling up. Pixel sleuths wasted no time. Within hours, the final frame was everywhere. Screenshots, upscaled, sharpened, color inverted. The first thing that caught their attention? A razor straight, 37 pixel line slicing through the lower right quadrant. It wasn't a streak of cosmic dust or a fuzzy comet fragment. It was crisp, clean, and according to some, it looked like sunlight glinting off machined metal. An edge detection algorithm, run by a dozen different users, returned the same result. The line's geometry was too perfect for random noise, but that wasn't the only oddity. Just above the line, a faint, drifting smudge hovered, off-axis, from the main coma, barely visible unless you boosted the contrast. Some called it a compression ghost, a byproduct of the 8x8 pixel blocks the video feed used to save bandwidth. Others insisted it was a second object moving at a different angle, trailing the interstellar visitor like a shadow. Comparisons poured in. Known sensor artifacts, cosmic ray hits, even video glitches from past missions, none matched the shape or placement. The anomaly didn't bleed into surrounding pixels, didn't scatter like a typical sensor spike. Instead, it seemed to float, untouched, in the digital haze. Forums filled with side-by-side -side overlays, GIFs looping, looping the moment before blackout, and meticulous breakdowns of the compression grid. For every claim of artifact, there was a counterclaim of something more. The deeper people looked, the less the image seemed to explain. The mystery only sharpened, pixel by pixel. Dr. Karen Meech has seen comets pull stranger tricks than most people imagine. She points out that interstellar visitors like 3i slash Atlas are often fragile, bundles of ancient ices held together by little more than cosmic dust. As they race toward the sun, sunlight boils off pockets of gas, creating jets that can blast fragments loose or carve out sharp, straight features in a comet's coma. Dr. Alan Fitzsimmons adds that cosmic rays, high-energy particles zipping through space, regularly strike telescope sensors, leaving behind bright, perfectly linear streaks in a single frame. Both astronomers remind us, outgassing can mimic the unexpected, and sensor artifacts have fooled experts before. Fragmentation, jets, and radiation hits are not just possible, they're routine in the life of a comet especially one from another star. Speculation didn't just simmer. It boiled over. Within hours, hashtag Atlas cover-up trended worldwide. People demanded the raw, uncompressed data. Letters from amateur astronomers and even the SETI Institute called for immediate release of every frame, every log. Dr. Renewon Dr. Avi Loeb, known for championing the Oumuamua mystery, weighed in. We must follow the evidence wherever it leads, even if it challenges assumptions. The parallels to 2017 were impossible to ignore. 
a sudden anomaly, an official explanation, and a chorus of voices refusing to settle for routine answers. Meme accounts, science influencers, and seasoned researchers all joined the fray, dissecting the blackout with forensic zeal. It wasn't just about one frame. It was about trust, about the possibility that the universe had sent another impossible message. And this time, the world wasn't willing to let it slip into silence. At exactly 3.17 UTC on June 18th, 2025, the global feed of NASA's 3i slash Atlas broadcast went dark, just as viewers witnessed a rare interstellar comet, only the third ever seen. Forensic analysis confirmed the relay handover and matching SHA-256 hash, yet the last transmitted frame showed a 37-pixel anomaly and a faint drifting object that have not been officially explained. NASA documents attribute the interruption to technical causes, while independent experts note the scientific value of every lost second. As of today, raw data and detailed logs from that moment remain unreleased to the public. The origin of the anomaly, and whether it signaled natural comet breakup or something else, is still unknown. What is clear? Three I slash Atlas challenges our understanding of the universe, and the blackout has sparked new demands for transparency in space science. The search for answers continues, driven by evidence and the rare appearance of a messenger from beyond our solar system.